The jury is out on whether Google can make wearable technology work with their glass. However, one company in the field is confident it can harness that wearable tech for the next generation of search engines. Ambrish Mitra returns to the new sub. He's founder and CEO of Blipper, a mobile augmented reality and image recognition platform. And he's here on the set. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, man. You, you keep coming back. And I, I was joking earlier that maybe but either you like it or you like the abuse. So let's go. You've just been on an acquisition. Yeah. Um, and and tell us about the acquisition and where it takes you. So we just acquired a company called Lair. It's a Netherlands business. It was one of the largest consumer augmented reality companies in the world. And they were a competitor. So Blipper acquiring them now makes us the biggest consumer augmented reality platform on the world with over 50 million users. And it's important because Consumer augmented reality, it's in its initial traction, and now we've become a, like a bigger powerhouse, and 50 million is a large number. Well, 50, 50 million is a large number, and yeah. still a lot of people out there are saying, what is augmented reality? Uh, in the simplest way possible, explain what it is. Compu uh, augmented reality means computer-generated information on top of the real world, which could be used to enhance reality, give additional information, or have entertainment when seen through a lens of a computer. So I could be looking at something, not know what it is, and then I could then find out there may be some text on the side that says this is a something or other. Exactly. Or you could see videos and other things. And so how, how do you think people are going to adapt to this? One, one of the things that uh, we, we were talking about a, a bit earlier was how great it was. My phone my phone died on the way home last night, um, yeah. and, and I got to sort of look, look out, look at the world, see what was going on, really investigate stuff. I wasn't being distracted. Yeah. Uh, how, how, why is augmented reality going to be better than looking at the world as it is. So uh, when you go through a day-to-day -day life walking around, I think people will continue to do that and human nature will not change that. What this behavior is about, things you normally search for in a search engine, trying to describe with keywords, you would be able to just look at it and get the associated information, whether shopping for a bag or price of and avocado. And sometimes the keywords uh, don't match up with what, what I, I would put in the keywords and it doesn't match up with what is in the search engine. Your search results is as good as your perception of the world, which can be sometimes wrong. Okay, great stuff. Thanks for returning to us. Um, Amber Mitra, we appreciate your time, sir.